Good evening, everyone. This is Shilpi, and we are ready with yet another Parent Sathi lesson in our series of special education, step by step, by a wonderful special educator and a mother, Miss Simi Vasu. And she is ready with her new lesson on categorization. So, over to you, Simi, ma'am. You can start with your uh, today's lesson. Thank you, Shilpi. And again, a very warm welcome to the special Sati series of uh, special education step by step. We are still at the early intervention uh, stage and uh, we are going to, uh, you know, take up another topic. Uh, this topic is called categorization and how uh, we start with it in um, the early intervention period is when we teach the children about nouns, you know, the uh, things around them. So you, we all start with things like teaching them about plate, cup, spoon, then we start with fruits, then we start with vehicles, animals, you know, vegetables. So this goes on. Most of the time what happens is somewhere down the line after teaching these basic things, we forget, you know, we um, we leave uh, the category part there. Um, but categorization is again a very important skill. Why is it very important? Now, how does a brain, you know, assimilate new information? Supposing you go to New Zealand and you see the bird kiwi, okay? But maybe you do not know the name of the bird that it is kiwi. But looking at the features, that it has feathers, it has a beak and it has those claws, you know, you can make out that, oh, oh, it's a bird, right? So that is how the brain learns new information. It needs to learn new information by matching it with something which was there in its, you know, the basic, in special education, we call the schemas, the schemas which have been already there. The brain then tries to match the new information with it and then arrives at a conclusion, okay, this this is a new thing, you know, this is the new thing I've learned. So that is the reason special uh, in uh, special education categorization is a very, very important uh, aspect. And it is, again, important in language. And how is it important in language? I will be showing you that as with activities, how we use categorization for things like, you know, memory recall, things like, uh, you know, staying on task. How long does a child stay on task when we are doing it? So uh, without much ado, let me start how uh, you know with the activities, how I do um, categorization. So basically the first thing we do is with concrete items. You know, we all know that from concrete, we go to abstract, the pillars of special education. So here um, we start with concrete fruits, concrete vegetables, most of the time, my teachers would not even allow us to use plastic fruits and um, vegetables. You know, they say, hey, you show them real so that the first time itself, uh, the image is ma made. And at times, yes, for vehicles, all the vehicles cannot be shown in real. So we do use toys. So use toys as realistic as possible and uh, include, you know, add on to their vocabulary. We all know we have a receptive vocabulary and an expressive vocabulary, right, in uh, language. So receptive means whatever I learn and expressive is what I speak out right so many a time our children have a lot of receptive language they can identify a lot of stuff but when it comes to using it they do not use it so how can we do you know how can we make them use it categorization is one of the methods to make them use um, their language they have learned you know so one way I do once the basic concrete thing uh, is done I make them sort you know so sorting would be the things like I will go beyond the fruits vehicle. So, yes, you will have fruits vehicle vegetables like these. This is a creative card game. So, look at the cards here objects, fruits, and animals. All of you can see, right? So, with pictures, I make them sort. So, this is an object. So, it will go here. So I start with maybe two things only, say animals and objects. So matching the object, uh, ice cream to ice cream or pencil to pencil or this telephone to telephone this way. right? Similarly with the animals, we will do the matching. And then I will tell the child, okay, let's name these animals. You know, when the child is naming the animal, I do a slight 
finger clue. So the moment, and I'll tell them, okay, so it's duck, hen, lion. So we go on like this, you know, giving them a finger clue. Later on, you can just remove this. I mean, once you know that the child is thorough with it, you can just uh, remove the card and you can say, okay, let's name five animals, you know. So once you give this finger clue, the child understands and he starts repeating the animals he has learned or the objects he has learned. This card has another special feature. If you turn it, see, there are no pictures also. So once the child is thorough with the picture thing, just mix up these cards, you know, all the cards in this uh, and give it to the child and just you know, turn it and let the child sort it. So this way also in, with pictures, but without a, you know, a matching thing, you are making the child sort the animals, fruits, objects. More on, if once these kind of things are done, you can use a variety of cards. This was one for creative. This is the Brainy Bug series. So they have wonderful realistic pictures. See, if you notice and, oh, sorry, it's old, some of them. And they use very Indian stuff also, like rice is there, you know, or um, roti is there. So you can make them sort things we eat or the utensils. See here, you can make them sort the utensils. Here, things made of wood. This goes on at the higher level. So there's no way you are stopping, you know. Why this is important? When you ask the child to say five sentences about a pencil. So what does the child say? Pencil is, this is a pencil. It is made up of wood. The color of the pencil is blue and red. See, everywhere the category is coming. Wood, color, right? We used to write it, you know, so the functionality of it. So that is the reason. Similarly, if you take up a t-shirt, then it's a clothing item. If you take a cupboard or a fridge, it's a storing item. So there are a lot of ways categories can be done. In fact, in the description of this video, we will be sharing a category list, which I would like to show you. Uh, I got it from the net only. So um, let me show. Shilpi, is my screen uh, visible? Yes, ma'am, it is. Yeah. So see, there is a category word list, you know, it has a beginning, uh, sorry, my mouse, beginner level, early elementary, late elementary, secondary grade. Look at the levels we are go going. So we have an animals, colored items, green, colored items, yellow, and there is a list of items. So what do I do with children? You know, first I make them read this list. They just read it and fluently once two or three times they read it what i do is they i know they are thorough with these things then i'll say okay i will time you especially i'll start with the easy things like animals or colors or everything you know and then i'll put a one minute cut timer and i will see how how many uh categories how many items in the specific category can they recall now why am i timing them when i am timing them i am making them more you know focused and i am you know giving a um, a structure to the recalling part of it. I'm asking them, okay, within one minute, try to recall as many. And believe me, children recall up to 17 items, you know, and some of them who just waver off will come up with say six or eight. I mean, that's the average which happens. And uh, many of them who are a little more attentive come up with 12 items. Now, when you go to colored items, green or blue, See, if an apple is uh, red or a strawberry is a red, is red, a balloon can also be red, a car can be also red. So making the child imagine, you know, more. So what, what is language? All the time I keep telling language is whatever you visualize. Every video I, I come up with the language part of it. Why? Because that is the more that is the place where most of the parents are getting stuck. So when you are, you know, telling them to think about items which are colored green red or yellow and they're coming up with a yellow t-shirt you know uh, a yellow cycle so you are you know triggering their imagination and yes the regular stuff also yellow mango uh, yellow papaya all that thing is already there in their mind so we are widening the horizon so we will be sharing this list with you it's freely available uh, online but still i mean i would like to share so look at the way i mean for the older kids um, uh, the older adults young adults and all you will have see sounds you will have things with buttons and it's a, it's really 
fun. The children really have a lot of fun when, you know, when they are recalling it. Uh, another way uh, how we use category is to see their presence, you know, their environmental presence uh, and how much the child are, uh, children are connecting with me. So in my group sessions, uh, what I do is I play a category game. Uh, I couldn't find a perfect video. I mean, there were uh, many a times children do from, but yes, I would still like to share uh, the video of my children where we are having a lot of fun and, and see the way the children are smiling, the way the children are you know making fun along i mean having fun along with the uh, game we are playing so uh, let me share um still be can you see the video ka wo? um abhi, or is it the category no no currently uh the only the wordless pdf has been uh, shown on the uh, uh, maybe screen. i'll okay okay wait we, see the now video is not coming as of now okay new share okay new share i had to do new share Okay. Yeah, now it is. Uh, this, uh, huh. So this is the uh, category game we are pay playing. This was the initial stages when we had just started it. So here goes. Excellent. Uh, spinach. No, no, spinach. Spinach. What is the spinach? I'll be naming the love topic. <laughs> say Viraj next. What is the spinach? Okay, I'll say brinjal. Brinjal. Hmm. Next. What? Next. Tomato. Tomato. Yes. Onion. Potato. Alu. So if you noticed in this video, I suddenly share a uh, change the category, you know, so this is a game where we play uh, to see how present the children are. I'll start with one category when it comes to my after two turns, when it comes again to my turn, I'll change the category to say a vehicle or to um, like here in the, the vegetable. And you should see the way the children switch immediately, you know, to the next category. So I couldn't find but one day we have, I mean, we we're just discussing, we will promise um, to share all these videos where you can see you know, that will be a video day. We will be sharing a lot of activities that time. So this was one way uh, we were making the children environmentally present. We were having a lot of fun along with the game. And uh, yes, the children were adding on. If they didn't know a category, we were teaching them. Like spinach, I said, and they say, he said rectangle. I said, no, what does spinach think? Right? So every opportunity is an opportunity not to test the knowledge of the kid as we always tend to do. It's an opportunity to teach the kid new things. So when we, we bring up new things, I always make it a point to say, oh, we have learned a new word, right, today. So this is how learning becomes more fun and the child, uh, you know, pays attention. Similarly, another thing which I do, uh, which, because I'm a content writer for EdQuery, so uh, I force Dr. Sridhar to make up, come up with games. I mean, I'll design the game and I'll send it to him and his developers does it. So we had a category game, you know. So um, I'll uh, show you that also. Uh, just a moment. Um, So, uh, okay, so this was a category game, which I thought of, uh, and, uh, you know, um, it is quite a successful one also. Again, um, this will come at an intermediate level once you have introduced the categories to the child. Remember, uh, any computer-based games when you're teaching for education, please don't start there, you know, start on the tabletop, start with a lot of activities and all. Once the child is comfortable, then computer-based games or uh, these, um, you know, uh, computer-based games are all um, basically a, a fun way to generalize the concept. 
not only generalize the concept many times because the children are you know they love to play on computer you will find them doing it independently also because i have a child who once if he goes wrong you know he will immediately say let's try again and you know he'll finish the game go back and retry the whole game again so the child is getting a feedback okay this is where he made a mistake he can correct it also so that rigidity which we generally find in autism that if you go wrong and then you know children throwing tantrums and all that I saw luckily was not here you know once they went wrong they knew they could rectify they could do a correction also so this was one of the categories in this game see look at the images at the top then drag the image at the bottom to match should be you then can see it now it. drag yes ma'am yes so here is a clothing item I have just shared it then excellent so, drag it's a plant well done. Drag. Supposing I go wrong here, I put it here and submit it. That's not correct. It will say it's Look not. at the correct answer. And it gives the correct answer also. It will go to the fruit item. Let's try the next one. Let's try the next Drag. one. So it's an animal. So this is how we, you know, uh, well can done. teach categorization Drag. another way. So categorization basically is a, a wonderful way to enhance the vocabulary of the child. It is a wonderful way to teach to the child to stay on task. Like what we do is um, uh, we will, you know, for smaller kids, I have a very, very small kids, like four years and five years ka group also. What we do is we mix up colors, you know, and then we keep the same colored plates all across the room. And then we let the children freely pick up these colored objects from a basket. They have to move around the room, check what they have in their hand and place it in the exact um, plate. If it's a blue colored item, so it will go to a blue plate. A pink colored item will go to a pink plate that way. So by doing that, I can see the attention of the child. You know, he's looking around. He's staying on task. He's seeing that there is a pink colored item in my hand and I need to put it in the pink plate only. So that also is developed in through categorization. Memory recall, recalling when you're recalling things in which you store. So you store things in a cupboard, you store things in a fridge, you th store things in a vessel, a patila, you store, th you know, water in a glass or a bottle. So look at the variety of ways, you know, we are making the child think and imagine, you know, come out of the regular stuff. So uh, that's the reason I don't leave categorization. I have a 38 year old um, girl with whom I do language and we still work on categorization. We work on emotions also. I mean, category of emotions also, you know. So anger will also have a category. So it could be anger or mad or furious, you know. So all that kind of you're happy, joyful, right? Uh, ecstasy. So all these emotions, Kabi, there are different categories. So you will uh, find games in emotions which will have these kind of categorization. So, uh, or, uh, and they are synonyms also. So all these things are interlaid. All these things, you know, somewhere or the other uh, uh, converge and they, they, they enhance the knowledge or they enhance the vocabulary. They enhance the communication skills of the children and they enhance the knowledge. And it's a fun way also. So I hope you liked our uh, category uh, game and you liked the topic we chose together. Thank you so much. Do subscribe and like our channel. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And thank you for choosing such an important topic and explaining it in a beautiful way through these amazing videos and superb activities for the parents and kids. So, and of course, the parents' feedback and appreciation for your lessons is incredible, which makes us to eagerly look forward to your lessons every week. And uh, thank you for taking out time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Bye-bye.